In my project directory, I have this images folder, which has six images. Now, in this lecture, we're going to write a script which gets all these images and it produces this image collage. So all these six images are here in one single image and we're going to generate this automatically with Python. You can see we have some margins around each image. So that's the output. I'm going to delete the output now and recreate it again via Python. You can find all these six images attached in the lecture resources so that you can also work on the script using these images. So let's go to my main.py file and import OpenCV. So we're going to use OpenCV for this, which as you know, can be imported as import CV2. Then you want to define firsthand how many columns and rows the collage will have. Since we have six images here, it makes sense to have something like three columns and two rows or two rows and three columns. You can also get this from the user using an input function. So you can get these data from the user, but let's keep it simple. Let's just write them here. We have a lot of other code to write. So let's keep this simple. And then you want to get a list of the image paths you want to use as input images, which are all these six images. So I'm going to just use os.list there and give the path to the folder. And so if I print images now, and of course, I need to import OS. That will give me a list of the image file names. Right, what else do we need? Well, you saw some margins around each image. So if you want the user to also specify what the margin size is, you want to have a variable or maybe an input function for that too. So uh, let's say horizontal margin is equal to 40 and the vertical margin is 20. So what are these? Well, if I show you the output image again, um, so with horizontal margin, what I'm trying to say is this area here, this space, wide space, which lies horizontally. And those who are vertical lines, such as this and that, are vertical margins. So that will be 20, the vertical one, and 44, the horizontal one. So 40 pixels, 20 pixels. What other parameter should we define before we go to the processing part? Well, we should get the values of the dimensions of these images. So for this script, it is required that all the images have the same dimensions. The algorithm that we will build requires that. So that means all these images should be the same resolution. And beforehand, we need to get the shape of those images. So the shape of one image is enough. To get the shape of an image, we need to use cv2.im read image read and then provide the path to the image. The path to the image is this plus the directory. So that would be images slash one dot jpeg and then we want to access the shape out of that image object so which is a property not a method so that will give us the shape the shape is this so that's the height that's the width and that's the image depth so to say with that now we have all the parameters we want for the algorithm. So we have the number of columns and rows for the image collage and the margin size. We have the path to the input images and we have the shape of those images. Let's start with the processing part now. How are we going to handle this? Well, for that we will create 
some sort of an empty image, a white image. To do that, we're going to need NumPy. So import NumPy, which allows you to create multi-dimensional arrays. So you know that an image has three dimensions. It has the height, the width, and the depth, which defines the, the colors, the pixel values of the image. And so we need to create an empty image, uh, which is basically this image here with this size. So the size of this image is going to be this margin here, plus the width of this image, plus the size of this vertical margin, plus the width of this image, plus the size of this, plus the width of this, plus the size of the last vertical margin. So that is the white image. And then we'll add those images on top of the white image. So let's create the big image now. Let's say big image like that is equal to numpy.zeros. Numpy.zeros is a method to create a numpy array and you can define how many dimensions you want. So we're going to start with the height of the image, which is the number of pixels from here to there. How can we calculate that? Well, that would be the height of one input image, which is shape zero. So that gives us the height of shape times rows. So rows is the number of rows we have. Uh, we have two, for example. So that means this height times two gives us this height plus this height. But we need to also take into consideration the size of this margin, that, and that one. So we're talking about three margins. Or in other words, it is two, so the number of rows, uh, plus one. So if we have two rows, as we have here, one here, two here, two rows of images, then we have three horizontal margins, one, two, three. If we had three rows of images, we would have four margins. So, so that's a formula. So in Python, that would be, again, the height times rows, plus horizontal margin times we have we said we have one two three so three which means two rows plus one so times rows plus one so that gives us three in our case because rows is two if rows was three we would have four margins and so on so that's the first dimension of the big image So it was this dimension that we have calculated. Now let's calculate, let's find the formula of this dimension, which is the width of one image times three. So we have three widths, plus we have one, two, three, four vertical margins. So it's basically the same formula. Uh, but this time we're going to work on shape one, which gives us the width of the image times columns plus vertical margin times um, columns plus one. And we also need the third dimension of the image, which is simply shape two, which basically is three. Uh, so we have an image with three bands for the input images and we're, we're also going to have the same number of bands so blue green and red for the output image now uh let's be a bit careful here um this numpy.zeros array gets two arguments actually the first argument is the dimensions so we are going to put a bracket there and another bracket in here so that is the first argument this tuple from there to here. And that tuple had this one, two, 
and three items, right? But that tuple is one single argument of the zeros uh, method. And the second argument is numpy dot u int 8. So that's the format of the numbers of the array. And then you close this. So actually, we should delete this parenthesis. So that's the parenthesis of this. And that other parenthesis is closed in here. That's the image. Now, if you write this image using an um, I'm right method, and you specify a path such as grid.jpg and the actual image object, which is big image, and then you run the script. Grid.jpg is going to be a black image. It is still an image, but it has zeros as values, as pixel values for the three channels, blue, green, and red. So when you have a uh, so when you have a zero value for blue and zero for green and zero for red, the combination of these three zeros gives you black color. If these were 255, 255, 255, we would have white. And anything between gives different combinations of colors. So for now we have a big image, but we have the correct sizes. I see. Now we need to add our images to this image. But just in case you want to make the image white, you can do that using the fill method. And you just provide 255, so that will replace all the zeros. You run the script again, you see now it's white. So now we're ready to add the actual six images to this big image. Before we add those images, we need to have a list of coordinates where the corner of each image will be placed. What I mean is, each of these images is referenced by its upper left corner. So this corner here has a coordinate, which is, for example, for this one, it should be something like 40, 20. So 40 is the number of pixels from this border here and 20 is the number of pixels from the vertical border so 40 20 for that and then we have something like 765 um, 768 plus that 20 here um, plus another 20 so we're going to have a different value a different coordinate for the other image and so on how can we calculate these coordinates so that we can place each image in those coordinates for this i'm going to first calculate the grid positions of each image what do i mean by that uh you'll see how this list will look like so I'm going to do x, y, a tuple for x in range columns for y in range rows and print out positions so that you can see it and I can explain to you what this is. That's the output that we got. So we have a list of tuples, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0. So 0 is the x here and the other 0 is the y. So we built a list comprehension and we extracted x and y. x is extracted from range columns, which basically gives us columns is 3. So we get a range from 0 to 3. So when you iterate through that range for i in range 3, i will be all the elements 0, 1, 2, 3. So these are the positions of each image in the grid. 0, 0 means this image. So in the row with index 0 and column with index 0. And then we have the other image, 0, 1, again the row with index 0, but column with index 1. 
and so on. Now, once we have that positions list, we can iterate for post x, post y, and zip positions and images. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six positions and six images. Images comes from this list here. So that zero, zero will be the position of image one, zero, one will be the position of image two, and so on. Now, what can we do with this post X and post Y? Well, from that, we can derive the actual coordinates X and Y. So X would be post X times image width, which is shape zero, plus the vertical margin, because when we're working on the X axis, so we're calculating width, plus this is a vertical margin, so width plus the vertical margin, plus another vertical margin. So why is that formula? Well, let's say the position is one, so for this image. Now, the coordinate, what we're trying to calculate with X is this coordinate, this corner here, that one in there. So that corner is one times the width of an image plus the vertical margin. So the width plus the vertical margin takes us to this point. Now I'm adding another vertical margin because we have this initial uh, margin here. So that means again, the position of this is that an initial vertical margin plus the width plus another vertical margin. That's the formula here. And for y is going to be the same. So post y times shape one in this case, plus horizontal margin plus another horizontal margin. Once we have these two X and Y values, then we can access the big image array and then mutate that array. So we are saying that from Y up to Y plus the height, which is one, and from x up to x plus the width. So with that, what we're accessing is, for example, this portion here, and then the next portion in the next iteration of the loop, and so on. So in the first portion, we say that portion of the image will be equal to the image. So what is image? Well, this actually should be in parentheses. So we're accessing the tuples of the positions of that list. And we also access the image of that list. Actually, this is just a path. What we need to do is create a list of image objects. So image objects are actually a list comprehension which could be cv2.im read so we want to read images let's say a file name here for file name in images so that will create a list of actual image objects and not image paths this outputs an image object it needs a bracket in here and also the f string in here because this is a variable and remove that parenthesis. So that's a final list comprehension to create a list of image objects. Therefore, images should be replaced with image objects. And so image will go from there to here and be written in that slice of the big image. Uh, that should do it, so I'm going to run the script. 
That error occurred because we have swapped the heights with the width actually. So, so this here should be the height. But shape 1 gives us the width actually because the shape sequence when we get it from here it is a sequence of height and width so the height is the first one therefore we need the height here so we need to place 0 and 1 for this the same goes for this formula here so 1 there and 0 there and run again no error and let's check grid JPEG. Yeah, looks good. So the horizontal margin is greater than the vertical margin. Let's check. Yeah, 40, 20. That makes sense. And that's the final output. So that's the code. So thanks a lot for following this video. And let's keep on learning.